Hello and welcome to GFC Weekly, for anything and everything to do with the Geelong Football Club. This is the news wrap for Wednesday the 21st of November. First of all, the club last week announced that Chief Executive Brian Cook will remain at the club. There was speculation for several weeks that Cook was preparing to accept a lucrative offer to join North Melbourne, but last Wednesday he confirmed that he had rejected the offer. Cook had this to say, After receiving an attractive offer and giving it due consideration, I am pleased to remain with the club. I look forward to continuing to take on the exciting challenges facing the club with the full support of the board, staff and players. In other news, Geelong Premiership players Matthew Scarl and Cameron Rooney have joined the Western Bulldogs as part-time specialist coaches. The pair joined former Geelong's assistant coach Brendan McCartney at the club, as well as former captain Stephen King who was an assistant coach at the Bulldogs. Rooney said he and Scarlett were genuinely excited about the challenge of their new roles, highlighting the youth of the Bulldogs list. Moving on, Cats captain Joel Selwood has been dragged into the spotlight of the Sally Crap saga currently engulfing the league, along with many other high-profile players from other clubs. The AFL is currently doing a league-wide sweep of all third-party payments players are receiving, and Selwood's deal with former president Frank Costa falls into that category. Joel has worked as an ambassador for the Costa Property Group for the past 12 months, and is currently in the process of signing on for a second year. Costa insists the deal is squeaky clean and the club have nothing to worry about. The Cats are preparing to head off on their pre-season training camp at Falls Creek, steering away from the growing trend amongst other clubs of heading overseas for high altitude training. The Cats will be doing regular skills work, running, hiking and cycling while on the trip, which runs from December 12th to 21st. Football manager Neil Balm says the Cats may consider high altitude training in the future, but for the moment are happy to stay close to home. In other news, youngster Josh Cowan is nervously awaiting the green light to step up his training load as he sets about trying to reignite his career. The 21-year-old midfielder played just one NAB Cup and one VFL game in 2012, before Achilles tendon injury forced him to sit out the rest of the season. Cowan was taken at pick 56 in the 2009 AFL Draft, and is one of the many exciting young prospects on Geelong's list. Last of all, it's seemingly more and more likely that Jake Stringer will be the name called out by Geelong when pick 16 comes around on Thursday night, with Troy Menzel now almost certainly out of, the que- out of the equation. Many clubs are believed to have steered away from Stringer, who the Cats have been following for a long time. Geelong attempted to select him in the 2011 mini-draft, but failed to secure his services. Pick 6 is shaping as the likely destination for Troy Menzel, with the Western Bulldogs firming as the favourites to snap him up, with whispers that GWS are considering taking him with pick 3. Well that's about it for this week's news, Wednesday the 21st of November. Links to follow GFC Weekly on Facebook and Twitter are on your screen now, as well as a button to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos. As always, all feedback is much appreciated, so be sure to let us know what you think of the content in the comments section below by leaving us a like or favourite, or contacting us via one of the methods I've just mentioned. I'll be posting a video covering who Geelong selected in the draft either tomorrow or the next day, however there won't be a news wrap next Wednesday due to me being away, so you can expect the next video after that to be on Wednesday the 5th of December. Thanks for watching, and Go Cats!